Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen Madron. Um, today we're going to talk about spiritual limbo. And this is the part of the process where we've gone through a certain amount of awakening. We've gotten a glimpse of the fact that this life we live is an illusion. Um, what has motivated us before is no longer motivates us. And what we saw as true doesn't feel true anymore. And even our friends and um, our conversations that we used to have just um, don't stimulate us anymore. And we feel kind of lost because we've gotten a glimpse of the beauty beyond this illusion. And we've gotten the experience that what we've built this life on isn't necessarily the truth. And so none of that feels real anymore. None of that resonates with us. And it may be reworking our whole life. It may make us start to question everything that we're doing, you know, including our careers and our partners and, and everything seems to um, kind of be pulled out from under our feet. Um, but at the same time, Nothing new has come to, you know, fill that void. We don't know what our purpose is. If, you know, our purpose isn't to make money and to make everyone around us happy, then, you know, what, what is our purpose? And what am I doing here on this planet? And so this spiritual limbo is that time period in between, um, you know, leaving the old life, and sitting in this place like the kind of like it feels like you're in the desert all alone waiting just desperately wanting to fill the, that void with something and to feel that enthusiasm and that peace and excitement that you had when you had your glimpse of awakening and you had your awakening experience and it can be really confusing this part of the process can be confusing and lonely and you just feel stuck and you wish you could go back but you can't go back because now you know what you know and you feel like you can't move forward that there's no momentum propelling us forward and it really is an important part of the process to be able to sit in this no man's land for a minute as Eckhart Tolle calls it and just to allow spirit to continue working at the deepest level of our soul without having to know exactly what's going on. Because there's an integration process that's happening that we can't always feel or know or see that it's happening, but it's an essential part of the process. And so that we have, we have to trust that this is the case. Um, there, after a while, there can also be things that start to block us from moving forward. Being stuck in this place can bring up a lot of fear that we're never going to move forward. We're never going to have any motivation or inspiration or ability to create a new life. Um, we're just going to be stuck without any energy and um, someday we'll be poor and nobody will love us. So there's all these fears that come in when we're in this place um, and that's our mind and that's our ego fighting back going like, what have you done? You know, what have you done? You thought you glimpsed truth, but now you're stuck here, you know? So you're, what's wrong with you? And so all of these things come up, the ego goes ballistic, he starts giving you a really hard time and it stunts the, stunts the process. Because what's happening is as, you know, the old life and everything that our ego told us was true, as it begins to fall away, um, what the next step is for the authentic self to come and shine through us completely. But um, when we have these fears and these irrational thoughts and all of these things come in, it, it blocks us from being able to really live from that authentic nature, it blocks us from even being able to feel that essence that we are and that light that we are, that we glimpsed in the beginning of this process. And so we have to recognize the ego, we have to call it out, we have to say, you know, hey, 
I understand that this is your job and you know you're just trying to protect yourself and in some sense you're trying to protect me but you're very misguided and so recognizing when the ego is interfering with the process bringing up all of the fears and calling it out just taking a step back and being like you know i hear you but i don't believe you you know because it's not the truth of my situation and so as we do that we are taking our power back from the ego and the more that we do that the more that we're building that that muscle of living from that authentic nature and from li living from our true self and so there's two parts here one we have to sit with the process and allow ourselves to be in this spiritual limbo knowing that there is a transition happening and two we have to be you know on guard and really um, protect ourselves from the nasty dialogue of the ego and change the dialogue. And um, this is a really important thing to be able to do, to change our dialogue so that we're speaking to ourselves in a whole different way, in a way that's coming from our true selves, from our love, from our light, from our essence, and no longer from the ego and from the mind. So if you're in this place, in this spiritual limbo, um, and you really feel stuck, you really feel like you would like some help moving through it and really moving on to the next part of the process, then please private message me and we can talk and see if we're a good fit to work together and um, see if the work that I do with my other clients is, is a good fit for you. So if you have any questions, leave them in the side here under the comments. And um, I'd love to hear about what you guys are going through right now. And um, until then, just have a great day and love the shit out of yourself. All right, we'll see you in the Facebook group.